Also, you can move um, products uh, front side and back side. I'll just uh, lose this screw and move this part, the product and the supermoto front and back. Also, you can adjust here. Adjust here. First, you have to lose this screw and uh, this screw and um, rotary this this uh, handle. You can move this product left. Uh, you can move the the product left or right side to make sure. Sometimes you because sometimes if uh, the switch is not in the center of the product, you have to rotate this button, move this uh, product left or right side. Also, you can adjust the sex screen uh, front and the back side. You can lose this screw and rotate this handle to clockwise side is move this sex screen back and count clockwise move the sex screen to fr to front side also can adjust uh, this side this this button is adjust the sex screen move up and down this also this can adjust uh, the left side this button adjust uh, the right side so the sex screen can adjust uh, front back and uh, up and down along. Also, if um, to save time, after you adjust the whole printing head and the squeeze and the sex screen um, head, you can next time if uh, the product uh, diameter is not seen, you can only adjust the back side. Use uh, monkey spanner adjust here to make the whole printing kit move and uh, move up and down so you can save time. After we down adjust uh, the switch sex screen, now we can put the ink uh, to mesh. The first color is green color. So now after we adjust everything, we put the green co uh, ink color in the mesh. Okay. And then click the original point uh, button to make sure the machine can work. After printing, as you can see, some place, uh, the it uh, don't have logo, so you have to adjust uh, the switch distance uh, deep to make sure the hole make more pressure to the product. After we printing, you can see the circle is not circle; it's uh, more hard, and uh, the width is more less. Also, this pattern is also wrong, so you have to adjust the product uh, diameter. You can click uh, parameter uh, interface and click the, this button diameter to measure your product diameter. If you print cup or uh, the conic uh, product such as uh, paper cup, uh, bubble tea cup, coffee cup, you can measure the diameter in the center, in the middle, in the middle diameter, uh, then, then to, to, to type the product diameter it's uh, about uh, 10, uh, 60, 61 diameter. You can type uh, the diameter here and and the printing again. After we adjust uh, the product diameter to 61, then printing again. After we adjust uh, the product diameter to 61, so the pattern is in right now. But some place is don't have a uh, ink, so you have to check here. Like the here, it uh, don't have much ink, so you have to adjust the the switch uh, deep to make sure to make sure it can print in whole pattern. For co uh, conic shape item, you can measure the product uh, in the center. 
for the conic shape product, you can measure the diameter in the center area to tap the diameter. But for the round bottle, you can measure the whole um, product diameter like this one. It, um, it can measure the whole product diameter. Like this glass bottle diameter is 45. You can tap, tap the diameter to 45. Also, like this tube, you can measure the, the tube diameter about uh, 48. You can tap the diameter 48 there. Also, if you want to print in this aluminum bottle, you can measure the bottle diameter. It's about um, six, 65. Then you can tap 65 diameter here. If you want to print in the three color or four color, um, after you put uh, type the, the diameter for the first color, then second color or third color, you cannot change the, the product diameter. Otherwise, you cannot uh, overprint in the packaging. So you must uh, to make sure the when you print in the first color, you have to remember your you type what diameter you tap into here. So now for the for this cup, we uh, measured uh, the diameter in the center about uh, um, 61. So we have to save uh, this diameter for the second color and the third color. Use the same diameter. Otherwise, it cannot overprint in the right but, uh, pattern. After we adjust the machine, everything is okay. Start uh, printing. This is three color pattern. This is fast color, green color. Now we are printing the fast color now. After uh, just a switch, okay, printing again. Now we can check um, whether they have a full pattern rotary. Then you have to, after printing, you have to check the pattern with um, head and width is uh, right. You can check the circle to make sure the head and the width is is same. Or you can use uh, after you printing. After you printing, you have to check the full pattern have uh, ink. After printing. You can see it's with pretty good pattern. Okay, other one you can see. After printing, you has you if you use UV ink, you have to pass it in UV curing machine, or if you use deep ink, you have uh, make it put it uh, in air, make let it uh, dry by itself. This is fast color, green green color. Now we are going to pass it in UV curing machine, uh, UV machine and uh, for the next uh, color printing. After you print in the first color, the first pattern, you have to save the ink to the cup or use uh, you save, uh, save your ink to the bottle and uh, remove the sex screen mesh and uh, use wash engine to clean it for next time use. First you have uh, rest up the printing head and uh, remove the silk screen mesh and uh, use wash agent clean it.
Okay, remove the sex screen frame. You can save the ink to the bottle or your ink bottle. Use it for next time. After you pick up the ink, then use use this wash agent to clean in the mesh to make sure the sex screen stencil can use it uh, for next time. You have to use wash agent to clean the both sides. After clean, you can use um make a sure you can check it whether have any ink in the the stencil or the pattern to make sure it's uh, clean enough. So make sure you can use it uh, for next time. After you clean the uh, mesh, and all, you also have to clean the scratch and the ink blade after you blend in to make sure the uh, green ink not, will not uh, mix uh, the black ink. Use wash agent to clean the scratch and the uh, ink blade. After you print in the pattern, you have to pass it in UV gear machine. After you print in the pattern, you have a pass it in your curing machine to make the ink be dry and curing. Then you can use hand to scratch uh, the pattern with the can easy off, scratch off.